Hello, this is Brett with DevNano, and today we're going to talk about the switch statement in C. So, like in the past lessons, I've created a file for our switch statements here called switchstatements.c. I've got it loaded up in Atom with some boilerplate code. So, a switch statement can be thought of similar to a if else statement, but it is different. So, let's first talk about the syntax and then we can talk about how it is used. So, the syntax is we say switch and then we give it some item to switch on, and in this case I'll say letter. Uh, letter is not defined yet, but we'll define it here in a minute. Then we give it our curly braces, and then we can give it a bunch of different cases. So sometimes this is called a switch case statement. So let's say we had a letter here, which was a character, we'll call it letter, and the value was a capital B. Now we have some condition logic here, uh, where we could say if, if else, if else, if else, if else, and come up with our logic here. So like if it's B, then do this. If it's C, then do this. If it's D, then do this. Or we could use this idea of a switch statement. So we can say switch, and then the first case is going to be B. And then we give it a, a colon here, and then we say printf, and then we will give, uh, we'll use this to look at the ASCII value of the letter B, for example. So let's say we wanted to have a, a program that took a letter and it printed out the ASCII value. Um, uh, that will be our, our thing here. So we'll say print B equals, or we'll just kind of do it like that, and then we would put letter in here. So this is saying that uh, switch, so take the letter into consideration. Now, in the case of a B, then execute this code here. And when you're done, this is different than an if statement. We need to break out of the, out of the switch statement. Say, and then we could have another case that was C, and then I'll copy and paste our code here just to save a little bit of time. And so we could print C and then the letter, and then we could break and then if, we, uh, if, if it's neither of those, similar to the else, we could put a default in here. And then we could print, and we don't need the break in here, but we could just print out some statement like, uh, you know, letter not found. So this is our sample program here, and let's go through the idea of what the switch case is doing. So we have a character which is signed this value of B. We're going to switch on that and in the case of B we'll execute some code and then we'll break out of the switch statement. In the case of C we'll execute some code and break out of the statement and then the default behavior um, if we don't hit those is to print letter not found. So we'll come over and we will make our switch statements file to compile it and then we will execute it and it looks like we have a few errors here. So, uh, letter not found error. Oh, I forgot my percent D in there. So make sure that the warnings are here. The, uh, if you have warnings, you fix them. So here we say that the letter is B and it printed out B and it gave us the ASCII value of 66. Now, if we were to come in here uh, and change it to C, uh, we should see it not go down this code path, but it should go down this code path. So we'll say C. We'll make and run that again, and we'll say that C is 67. So now there is a case in here that if you don't put in these breaks, let's run that and let's see what happens. So it came down here, uh, and it came down to case B, which it didn't execute on. So then it came down to case C, which it did execute on, but because we didn't break out of the switch statement, it came down to the default and said letter uh, not found, and then it gave the letter uh, right here, 67, which is the C. So there is this problem of the like fall through. So if you don't break out of it, Let's put our break statement in here. It will continue to fall through. So anyway, the again, the important idea is the principle of branching logic. 
here where you have some type of logic here and then you can branch based on the result. Similar to an if statement where you have some logic and then you can branch your code path based on the results. And this is how you start to create programs that can, can uh, appear to think and have behavior because we can have conditionals in there. We can say uh, like this, if you know, in the case of a B, do this, in the case of a C, do this. Otherwise, um, you know, the default behavior is to do this thing. And there may be cases when you want to use the breaks. There may be cases when you actually want the code to fall through. So uh, in the case of B, um, you want to do some behavior. In the case of C, you want to do um, some behavior. But in all cases, you say, thank you for using our using, user ink. <laughs> for using our program. And no matter what they do, you wanna give them that option. So run that and you can see C is 67. Thank, thank you for using our program. So the important thing to understand with this, again, I, I beat on this a lot, but is understand the principle of what is going on here. Uh, this syntax, this, this construct is available in most programming languages. So just uh, you know, try to memorize what's going on here, memorize the principle, but that will uh, that concludes switch statements. So we will see you in the next lesson.